Last night around 8.25 p.m., Los Angeles police were called to MacArthur Park where they found a dead body in the lake that you see behind me. No foul play is suspected. According to investigators, it appears that a man was intoxicated, fell in, and drowned. The man was identified as a Hispanic male in his 40s. Reporting for KCAA, this is Mabel Aragon. We're at the Alvarado Metro Station in Los Angeles, just one of the sites where trash cans have been placed throughout District 1. It's part of the city's initiative to clean up its neighborhoods of litter on the streets. We spoke to officials earlier today who told us that it's making a huge difference. And now, back to you in the studio. The LAPD is requesting the public's assistance in trying to locate Aaron Lacey, who was last seen around noon on January 20th on the 2100 block of Virginia Road. Lacey is described as a 5'3", 75-year-old black male, weighing about 130 pounds with gray hair and brown eyes. If you have seen or have any information regarding the whereabouts of Aaron Lacey, you're asked to call the Missing Persons Unit at 213-996-1800. California's 2013-2014 Budget Act approved a new state school finance system that greatly simplifies the way schools are funded. This new method is known as the Local Control Funding Formula and represents a major shift in how California school districts were previously funded. Under this funding formula, the state finances school districts, charter schools, and county offices of education equally per student with adjustments based on grade levels and demographic characteristics. This new approach will provide extra support for students who need it most. Prior to the local control funding formula, schools in California received funding without any real reason on why a particular school would get a certain amount of money as compared to another school. What the state essentially did is that they now are going to give a supplemental amount of, of dollars to students who fall into three categories. If a student is a foster youth, if, it's, if they're an English learner, or if they're a low-income student. We're in the first year of implementation, and next year is when the first time we'll have this local control accountability plan. But essentially how it works is that every student across the district generates a certain amount of money. It's an average amount that differs depending on what grade they are. So high school students will generate a bigger amount because it takes more dollars to fund high school students because we have more classes. Then if the student happens to fall into one of these three categories that we talked about, they will get a supplemental amount of money. Interaction and feedback among all the major stakeholders, including parents, students, school officials, and organizations, has been essential to achieving the goals of the Local Control Accountability Plan. Now with the local control funding formula, it's part of the, the state law or the legislation that says that we really need to engage all of our stakeholders to make sure that they are part of this local control accountability plan. So for months now, we've been reaching out to parents, to uh, the business community, to various organizations, nonprofits, for-profits. Uh, families, anybody that has an invested uh, interest. So now the priority in terms of additional funding that we're getting for our students is based on students that are English language learners in foster care and students that are low income. And I'm working specifically on coming up with a plan on how we can enhance and improve the services that we offer our foster care students. The local control funding formula will be implemented over the course of eight years. The new formula will be the standalone method for distributing state dollars to school districts in California. If you would like more information about the local control accountability plan, visit lausd.schoolwires.net. Reporting for NBC News Radio, KCAA, this is Mabel Aragon.